they're sexy, they're like, I'm not wearing any panties. Really? Then you got shit hot too. <laughs> Come on, I know it sounds filthy like I'm not wearing it. No, it sounds like you got shit behind you. <laughs> That's like saying, I'm so fucking real, but I wear panties and I don't even brush my teeth. <laughs> no, I just got a diamond cutter here and that. No. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> like drinking. He goes, I want you to drink tonight. You get as drunk as you can to Bob Marley. And so they pick you up where your address is. But Bob Marley was in our place. And so he stuck all these signs. Everybody, it's Bob Marley. I'm here. I'm not at the other address and all that. Get drunk as hell for his last scene. <laughs> we love Bob Marley. What, what we love Bob. What was the last scene? What was it for? The last scene he shot? Yeah, the, the last scene he shot. The last scene he shot. Oh, I, I don't know. But no. <laughs> but you know, I didn't make any of it. What I'm just trying to say is Bob Marley is a man. <laughs> and we do not know what kind of underwear he wears, and we do not give a shit. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't a runner. We don't know. Okay. <laughs> Be nice to us now. Come on. Hey. Bob. What do you got? Hey, fellas. What's the uh, status of the next movie? <laughs> but Sean knows as much as I do, but I think he, he's written it. He just has to brush it up. Okay. Wow, yeah, baby. <laughs> Is that the Big Lebowski? Yep. Is that the Big Lebowski? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Maine also, but my question is, did you feel dirty working with Ron Jeremy, or? Uh, Any yeah, shirt? I, I, I got the best photo in the world from that cat. <laughs> you want to check it out? Yeah. 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 Show it. I will. I will. Show it. <laughs> While we're getting it. Uh, ask another question. I'll show this to you. This is the picture. It's what I claim to fame. You know, can I tell you, did, did any of you guys ever see Ron Jeremy's... Uh, have you ever seen any of his work? No. 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 Fucking thing is huge. <laughs> <laughs> 
get a mold of this fucking Jimmy Johnson. And that motherfucker frightened the shit out of me. I don't know the chick that looks at that and goes, oh yeah, give me. It's a fucking, it's a fucking. <laughs> Sean, can you uh, talk about your role on Dexter landing there, and uh, particularly what it was like to work with Michael C. Hall? Yeah, uh, Michael was killer. Everybody, everybody on the show was killer. Uh, let me interrupt this bullet to bring you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Can everybody see that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ron, and he's standing there, he's going like this, and I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I took this like on the set. I, I met him like eight minutes prior. Everybody was like, Jeremy, I'm like, Ron, Ron! <laughs> <laughs> you guys here? What's the cell number on it? What's Norman's number? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, wow, I got a family, but there you go, there's shit going on, you know? Um, everybody was super, super cool and super nice, uh, but it was such a well-oiled machine, you know, it kind of went forward at 90 miles an hour, and I only got to do one season, I would have loved to have, I mean, it's, it, it, it's always cool to do work that you know is going to get seen, you know? It just changes things, you know? I've made a career out of doing films that nobody's seen, so, you know, you, you put a lot of work, it's funny, but it's true, you know, you, do, you put a lot of effort into an independent film, and you really don't know if anyone's ever going to see it. And it changes it when you know there's X million viewers that are going to see every single episode. It's just neat. It's really neat. It makes you feel like a real actor, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it, it, it's true, you know, you know this is a good show. But everybody was super, super nice. And warm and welcoming. It was it was a wonderful experience for really was. Well, well, quick question, Sean. Uh, I'm a married guy, and I just want to put a little excitement into my marriage. You know, it's Saturday night, we're out in Boston having a good time. Senator Merrill, would you mind? <laughs> would you would you mind uh, saying my wife's name in a really sexy manner? Her name is Pamela Cogswell. Pamela Cogswell. We know her. We saw her last night. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at me like this, walking in line. And those like people, right? So he went and stood outside the line so he could pace back and forth. Shit <laughs> <laughs> out, walking back and forth. Just I fucking, I mean, I hustle me. I can tell. I'm from Texas, so you know what I'm gonna do. So I'm like, we're gonna fucking put it down. So my well, first gonna come up, he's got a problem. Fuck it down, right? And he walks straight up to me, gets in front of the line, and say, like, again. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but the look on his face didn't change. He was back there doing the shit. <laughs> I've loved you for a long time. <laughs> and I'm just standing there in that line just thinking of all the stuff that I've wanted to do to you for years and years watching you on the screen. 
Say it again. Tell you about Japan? Like, you know what? I honestly, I tell you guys the stories that are tame enough to not get me tossed in jail. <laughs> and there's so very fucking few of those. <laughs> I would love to tell you, Japan was a whole hell of a Because I'm that dude. Everybody else is like Mr. Jeremy. I'm like Ron. Come on. Come on. Really? Come on. I get the, I get the down dirt. I would tell you a new story as soon as one gets approved. <laughs> I've got a question for wait, I, I've got a question for all of you. No, what? I asked him in line today for a new story. Oh. What? And I asked him in actually excuse me, Val asked you in Louisville for a new story about Japan. So I'm calling you out and show. While you think of a new story, I gotta point out the fact that there's somebody that in the front row right now that flew in from Japan to see you. Can you stand up in the front row? You flew in from Japan. There are four. Four that flew in from Japan. I see you. And she didn't even know remember. I was like, that's Ellie right there. That's fucking Ellie right there. <laughs> and today, and so we caught her in Japan, which was uh, in December. But uh, to, she flew to Japan to see me again, and she brought one of the first photos we ever took. took and it has that date stamp on it. From when we met Isn't that killer? Your, what is your, uh, your fiction blog title? Um, 
been the king of Los Angeles. to sell uh, some t-shirts, specifically designed by artists that I think are amazing. And I took some pretty iconic images and transformed them a little bit to change the message. Uh, there's a limited edition. I didn't know that they would sell like they would. The first run sold out like in the first day. So when people started going to the website, they're like, when's it gonna be updated? I just didn't know that they would sell like that. Um, the proceeds go to sponsor kids that can't afford it in the martial arts program. Because I know what it did for my life. It changed my life immensely. Um, so we sponsor kids all over the country, put them in, a lot of, of single-parent kids, and uh, the transformation is more than recognized. I mean, kids that can't look you in the eye, they end up becoming men, becoming responsible, productive human beings, and, and it, it, it's truly amazing, and it did the same thing for me. So that's what Christmas 14 is. You go to Christmas14.com, it's gonna be back up and restocked with another limited edition of t-shirts uh, within a week or two. I thought it would be good sooner than but within a week or two it would be uh, Shine Until Tomorrow is just that. It's a blog site that I started and I write some stuff. Uh, maybe it appeals to some people. Maybe it's I'm sorry, but it's very inspirational and you fucking kick. <laughs> You know, check, it, check it out if, if you want to. It's, uh, I write some personal stuff on there, uh, some not so personal stuff on there, but it's all from the heart, and it's called shineuntiltomorrow.com, also christmas14.com. We have some really killer, unique t-shirts that uh, we're selling. It all goes to a great cause, too, so, uh, and that, that's what that's about. And it all starts from my martial arts background. It's something that I can give back, because I know what it did for me. Um, let, 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 let me. Let me say this, guys. Uh, I, I can't say this enough, but it, it, it's truly an honor to come into a room like this and have people just sit down and want to hear you tell stories about something that you've been paid to do for 20 years, you know? I've had real jobs in my life, and this ain't fucking alone, you know? I, 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 I make the analogy to a ditch digger, but I used to dig ditches for a janitorial company, which is the wrong kind of ditch to fucking dig. And I'll tell you, never once did I go outside and practice digging that ditch because one day I thought somebody paid me for it. Fuck no. I didn't dig a ditch until my fuck paid me and I learned on the job. This is an industry where people go out and they do this shit for free hoping one day they'll get paid for it. You know? So I, I know how lucky we are and it's an honor and it's a privilege and it's very humbling to have you guys show up and fly from Japan. You know? Or fly from Serbia. You know? Or Montreal. Just to come and hang out with us for a little bit. It is an honor and from the bottom of my heart I am so grateful for you guys. It's, it, 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 it makes me smile. Yeah. 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 And uh, it, it's been an honor and a privilege. And I, I hope we make movies that you guys love in the future because this is truly, truly a pleasure. It really is. And can we hear it for our beautiful moderator, Katie?